Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the higher, everybody. Praise the higher one more time. Praise the higher from whom all blessings flow. Amen, amen. This is your sister, Carrie Ann, in Yeshaya the Christ, Yeshaya of Nazareth, Yeshaya the Messiah, if you want to know why I call God, Ahaya, and the biblical Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Yeshaya. I've done a video about that. Greetings, greetings to the 12 scattered tribe of Yah Shahel. Hallelujah. Yah Shahel is the name given to Jacob. A lot of people say that his name was changed to Israel. That is not true. Israel is not the proper name. Yes, Jacob's name was changed, but was changed to Yashael. Hallelujah. So I greet the Yashahelites, the Hebrew Yashahelites, <clears throat> who have been scattered to the four corners of the earth. Um, in 2022, I greet you all in the matchless name of our soon coming king, Yesiah, and to the beautiful, beautiful body of the Messiah, the church. Hallelujah. I greet you all in the matchless name of our soon coming king. Yes, higher. Hallelujah. Okay, quick, quick housekeeping, brothers and sisters. Number one, <clears throat> when I make a comment, my name is Sister Carrie Ann, solid gray border. Anybody else pretending to be me, you know what time it is. That's a dirty devil. You need to rebuke and report them. Secondly, uh, there's a sinner's prayer at the end of this video you know, we want you to accept the most time. We want you to give your heart to Yesiah, whom the world calls Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We want you to come over to the good side. We do not want you to go to hell. So if you want to give your heart to the Lord, um, watch the end of this video. There's a sinner's prayer there for you. All right. Okay. On this channel, we do the, something called the top 20. Anybody, any brothers and sisters who comes up in the first top 20 comment on any video, I'll give you a little shout out. I'll give your name a little shout out and I enjoy doing that one. All right. Um, <clears throat> but it's not really, it's, yeah, it is for that, but equally to help to train your spirit teaching you to be alert, getting your spirit man to learn to be alert, sober, awake, and vigilant, watchful. What are you watching for? The returning of the beautiful Messiah. When all is said and done, Yesiah is coming back. All right. These are the top 20 beautiful brothers and sisters who need a very powerful video that a breakdown concern in the slap, the Oscar slap with Will Smith and all of that. And the reason why he's done it, it's a massive, massive, massive cover up. Oh my Lord, it's a massive cover up, but people are just so focused on it because it's in the news 24 seven. Brothers and sisters, please wake up. It's a cover up. You need to watch that video. If I remember, obviously I will leave a pin in the comment section. All right, <clears throat> and the description box. Top 20 brothers and sisters underneath that video. Edna, I see. Esther, Jean. Shanna, Fisher. Jarrell, Gilbert. Icarti, 1982, Such a Lady, 0546, Blue Lily, Angel K, God's Horn, Ice and Emma, Ado Adiola Sings, Put God First, True Diligence, Detra Jones, Renita Miller, Sinodu, Wild Rebirth Ministry, Kate Ndungu, Mijal Belongs to Yesaya Yeshuma, Blessed Ash, and Jereen Smith. All right, these are the beautiful top 20 brothers and sisters who make it in that video. Remember, you know the score. Do your thing on the video. Like, subscribe, watch till the end, comment. It just helps with the, with the dirty algorithm. It really, really does. Absolutely. So I thank you very much for doing that for the reach to other people. Okay, we are near. We have a prophetic theme banner. It is called We Are Near. We're not only near to the returning of the Messiah, hallelujah, but we're also near to the revealing of the dirty Antichrist because brothers and sisters, listen. Oh, Father God of creation. Listen, that man is going to be revealed soon and very soon. Soon, sorry, soon and very soon, brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters. All right. <clears throat> we're also near to the lawlessness of sin what's the lawlessness of sin this is a new world order the nwo 
yeah when the antichrist come i'm telling you lots of things are going to happen demonic stuff all right we also have a prophetic theme song our prophetic theme song is also called we are near the prophetic theme banner we are near prophetic theme song we are near it's a song that my mommy taught me when i was a little girl she's had sweeties and toys and play the game and sing the song we are near i don't know nothing about illuminati song or it sounds like new year's eve song don't know anything about that. It's a song that is just so fitting for these end times, all right? And it goes like this. <clears throat> oh, now you are on, now you are on, now you are on, oh, now you are on, now you are on, now you are on, now, hallelujah. Yes, we are near, and we can sing that song with confidence. Hallelujah. Okay, brothers and sisters. All right. Um, <clears throat> sorry. I wanna, I wanna release a vision that my mom got. And those of you who, who have been watching this channel for a little while, you know that from time to time, my mommy, she's she's also a prophetess. All right, and she does get vision, prophetic visions and dream, and a couple of her prophetic visions and dreams that have come to pass. I will leave her playlist. <laughs> I will leave my mommy playlist of her prophetic stuff um, that she has told me, and obviously I come and I give it to the church because she doesn't have a UU channel. All right. So listen now, brothers and sisters, what date is it today? Because I love to call dates. I love to call dates because there are people running around YouTube saying that I'm stealing prophecies. <laughs> Don't let me laugh. Okay. So I love to give dates so that if people are saying, oh, Sister Karen stole that prophecies. Well, if you say which prophecy it is, and then you can check the date. All right. So on the 29th, on the 29th of um, March, 2022, I spoke to my mom. So that was yesterday, the 29th of March. I spoke to my mom yesterday. And um, she said to me, she called me prophetess. She said, well, she called me prophetess when she's going to be prophetic, really. She said, oh, prophetess, I've got something to tell you. She said, I meant to tell you two weeks ago, but um, <clears throat> I didn't get a chance. So she said, said, now that you're on the phone, um, now I'm talking to you, it's coming back to me. She said, two weeks ago, which is sometime in March 2022. All right. So she said, two weeks ago, the most I gave me a vision. And she said, in this vision, she saw a number 137. And she said, when she was having the vision, in the vision, she didn't understand what the number means, 137. So when she came up the vision, she went to the Lord and she began to pray. And she said, Father, you gave me this number 137. I have no idea what it means. What is it, Father? What is it? And the most star began to speak to her. And the Lord told her that the number that she's seen, the 137, that is the amount of countries that will be involved in World War Three. Need needless to say, I was taken back. Like I was like, oh wow, that's so pain. Yeah. So <clears throat> the Lord told her, because I think that when we think about World War III, we think that every single country on planet Earth will be involved. But if you check the history of various world wars, I don't think every single country, but majority of the countries are involved. That is why it's called World War III, because it's, it passes the threshold of, um, of being World War III. All right. So the notion that my mom get the, the vision that the Lord told her that 137 countries, which is almost the world, that's like literally almost all of the world that is going to be involved in this war that is coming up, this double double three. So as we begin to speak, she said to me, remind me again, prophetess, she said, remind me again, how many countries are there in the world? And I thought at the time, I said, I, I said, I think it's 164 or something like that. I said, but let me check. I said, let me go and check on Google. So she was on the phone and um, I checked in Google. So when I checked, there is a hundred, there's 195 countries on planet Earth today. That is what it says. <clears throat> All right. 195. So we began to do some maths, me and my mom. 
So she said that, okay, so if the Lord is saying that 137 countries are going to be involved in the war, so that means 137 um, take away 195. All right, so 195 from 137 from 195. All right. So 57 countries. Out of the nine, out of the hundred and ninety-five countries on planet Earth, fifty-seven. This is very crucial. Watch, listen to me very properly, very carefully, brothers and sisters. Fifty-seven countries will not be involved in WW three. Fifty-seven. That's miscue. That's that's tiny. Because 137, that's literally all the world that's involved, really. But there's going to be 57 countries, 57 countries that not, that's not going to partake in the war. In the war. So me and my mommy begin to talk. I'm beginning to talk. And um, I said, I said, mom, I said, let me look how many countries are in Africa. <laughs> and um, so I went and Google and I looked how many countries are in Africa. Because, you know, Africa is a continent, yeah? It's got loads of countries. So there are 50... I wrote it down. So Africa has got 54. 54 countries. And my mom said, there you go. Africa won't be participating in the war. That's the motherland, she says. I don't believe that the most high is going to allow... <clears throat> I don't believe that the most high is going to allow Africa... To participate in, in the upcoming World War Three, they won't participate. Don't, uh, don't uh, the vision is true. Don't think Africa is going to participate at all in this war that is coming up, because that's how the Lord is going to set it. Because it's not, it, it is, it is not our war, really isn't. <laughs> the war isn't ours. The war is between. Babylon, UK, and, and Russia, and all these NATO countries, nothing to do with Africa. So, so that so that remains three other countries. Because remember, 57 countries won't get involved in this upcoming war. And we um, exclude Africa, which is 54 countries. So three countries are left that will not participate in the war i don't know which three countries are those could be countries in the caribbean i'm not sure but then again you see you know babylon rules over the caribbean ain't it so if if babylon uk and babylon us is short on soldiers and this is what my mom was talking about and we literally said if the caribbean go into this war the 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 the, the, the pharaohs are literally sending these soldiers to their deathbeds they're literally sending them to to the grave because the war is not theirs and if they go then some of them will not come back alive because they must not get involved in this war that is coming up this world war three business malarkey Car the caribbean mustn't get involved but The pharaohs will not back. They don't look after their people, isn't it? And the little thing that Babylon US and Babylon UK says, the pharaohs in the Caribbean just sell out the people. But the Lord is saying, and this is why I believe Africa will not be involved, but the Lord is saying that the Caribbean must not get involved in the upcoming World War Three. Don't stay put. It is not your war. So we have to pray for the soldiers, you know, and pray for... <coughs> For wisdom, really and truly. But there's going to be, apart from Africa, there's another three countries that will not participate in the upcoming World War Three. So that was a very strong message, message that my mom got. Very, very strong. And it was just so potent, really, because... Like I said, she absolutely went to the Lord. She came out the vision. She didn't understand 100 and, 137, that number. And she went to the most star. And she asked, she asked him, and the Lord told her, said, the Lord said 137 countries will be involved in World War III. So when me and my mommy did the calculation, obviously 
54 countries in Africa, Africa won't be involved in the upcoming World War III and three other countries. I don't know who they are. But it was very strong that it could be some of the Caribbean island. I don't know. But in our spirit, we felt that if these soldiers from the Caribbean go into this World War III, they're going to their doom because it's not their war. They must not get involved. Let Babylon and NATO and all these people sort their own stuff out. Let them sort it out, brothers and sisters. But it, the, the vision is true. And that's why I had to come and release it. See, this this is the reason why, isn't it? You have the, the, the Oscar slap. The Oscar... The Oscar fiasco, because take people mind of what is, it takes people mind of what is going on in the world, because everybody's focused on Will Smith's slap, and that's a massive distraction. We have to move away from that now. Keep your eyes on the triangle. Remember the triangle, rush, rush at the top, Babylon, U.S. at one corner, and the puppet country. Crane is at another corner. Triangle. All right, the all seen eye in the middle. The all seen eye is Satan. He's the master. He's got these three countries at the moment on a on a string. Babylon US represents the NATO countries and um and all the countries that support Babylon. So yes, brothers and sisters, we have to be wise now. All right, we have to be wise. These prophecies are coming. You know, some people say, oh, every day she's got a prophecy. Well, you know what? If every day I have a prophecy and you don't want to be on this channel, you don't want to hear, you don't have to comment. You, you just, <laughs> it's not for you. But there are people that want to wake up like, you know, even myself. And I'm so glad that my mom shared this vision with me. Absolutely, absolutely glad because everything will then come together concerning Africa and what the Lord is saying concerning that continent. And like I say, the war, it is not Africa war. It's literally, it's, 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 not, it's not their war. Caribbean is the same thing. It is not their war, but we perceive in our spirit, me and my mom, perceive in our spirit that the pharaohs are going to send some of these soldiers to their death. They're not coming back. If they go, they will not come back. That is because this war, people don't understand that it's gonna be nasty. It's gonna be worse than World War II. This war is gonna have some demonic influences in it, brothers and sisters. I am telling you, it's not gonna be nice. Not gonna be nice. And while I'm at it as well, thank you, Lord, because I nearly forgot. I nearly forgot. <clears throat> Remember, I said that the triangle, rush, rush at the top. Babylon U.S. in one corner and the puppet country, Crane country, is at, the, is at the next corner. Now, when my mom was releasing the vision to me and I began to um, sanction in my spirit what she was saying, that it was true, the Lord began to reveal to me and <laughs> this is so that this is for another video, but I will just... I'll just tell you what the Lord says in a, in a, briefly, but I may have to do another video to expand or expound on what the most that shows me. But the Crane country that Rush Rush is fighting now, that is going to become the base. That is be, that, that, that country. You see, <laughs> that is the reason why, yes, there's war going on there, but... The fleeing of civilians out of the country, it's, I believe it's done on purpose because the country is going to become the base. The base in terms of, that's, yes, Lord, that is going to be the base for Rush Rush. Babylon, US, and the NATO's, they, they will not get the crane country as the base to fight Rush Rush and all the other country that support Rush Rush. So Rush Rush 
is going to literally use the crane country when when the dust well, I said dust is settled really when they're completely and I know it looks like rush rush is not taking over the crane country that the crane country is winning and <laughs> drip drip vladi do you understand drip drip means that he's moving like a snail he will get there and when he gets there when when it comes when it all comes out on the news that rush rush have taken over the whole of the crane country people are going to be shocked because they're going to say oh well the media what the media the mean they are the lie you cannot believe them the liars you cannot believe them so when they're telling you that the crane country is winning they're taking this rush rush is running away I mean, Babylon, U.S. and the NATO, they're afraid of the Korean country. I'm sorry, they're afraid of Rush Rush. So, can the... Brothers and sisters, listen. The, I said, if you do watch the mean, dear, take from me the truth and throw away the lies, if you want to. But I don't depend on... I do not depend on them for my source, for the wicked. Very, very wicked. Um, so, the, so, the Korean country... The crane country that Rush Rush is fighting, that is going to become the base for Rush Rush. They're going to use it. So, yes, Lord. Mm, deep, very, very deep. A lot of fighting is going to be from the sea and from the air. Lots, lots and lots and lots and lots and lots. Lots of fighting, lots of detrimental, lots of destruction from the air and from the sea. I've done a video about that concerning the triangle. Water, air, and land. That is where the fighting is going to be. And obviously, um, they're going to try to come on the base to kill, well, try to get to the Rush Rush soldiers on the base of the Crane country. But they're not gonna succeed. They're not gonna succeed. Not with the power of the the nukes that Rush Rush have. So the, 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 Drip Drip Vladi knows what he's doing. He wants the Crane Country to, to that is gonna become the base of World War Three. That's why he's doing what he's doing. Very deep, brothers and sisters. I need to break it down some more. All right. Okay. So for those of you who have come to the end of this video, not really the end, but you're here, you have not accepted Yesaya, hallelujah, whom the world calls Jesus Christ of Nazareth as your Lord and Savior. Um, this is your chance. All right. Today is the day we want you in glory. We don't want you to go to hell. We don't want you with the with Lucifer burning and carrying on and torment. No. We want to hug you. We want to kiss you. We want to love you. Hallelujah. We want to see you in glory. Glory be to the Most High. So that's the reason why we're doing the sinner's prayer. So if you want to accept the Most High as your Lord and Savior, um, repeat this prayer after me. Yes, Haya. Yes, Haya is the name of of the biblical Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You can call him Jesus Christ instead of Yesiah if you feel comfortable. But I call him by his Hebrew name. All right. I call him by his Hebrew name, Yesiah. So, you know, call him by the name you feel comfortable with. All right. So repeat after me. Dear Yesiah. Hallelujah. Just a minute, brothers and sisters. Okay. Bye. Hopefully. All right. Dear Yesiah. The Christ, I know that you are the son of Ahia, whom the world calls God. I believe that Yesaya has died on the cross for my sins. Yesaya, I thank you for dying for me. I believe in your death, burial, and resurrection, and that Ahia has raised you from the dead. I know with confidence that you are the son of Ahia. Yes, Ahia, king of glory, I come before you right now and I'm asking you to wash away my sins. I'm asking you, please forgive me for all that I've done wrong. Ahia, I thank you for Yesaya, your son. 
I pray you will help me to live a life of repentance and give up this world. Thank you for salvation and for saving me. Hallelujah. If you said this prayer and you believe it with your heart, welcome to the body of the Messiah. Leave in the comment section if you've accepted the Lord as your personal Savior, Lord and friend. At this stage, what we encourage you to do, we believe in water baptism, not a little trickle on your forehead by the Catholic Church or when you were a baby, you were immersed, you know, you were baptized. No, 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 that does not count. We believe in the full baptism, the full immersion of water, just like when John the Baptist dunk the most star said dunk really but it's not really dunk it's you know the most uh, Yesiah was fully emerged into water from head to toe he was covered all right was went down into water hallelujah so that's the type of water baptism that you need to have we believe in acts 2 verse 38 acts 2 verse 38 you need to read it for yourself it says repent and be ye baptized for what? For the remission of the sin, of sins. Hallelujah. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. So you need to read that for yourself and understand that scripture. All right, brothers and sisters. So be bold, be strong, be courageous. Walk with a higher, just like Enoch. All praises, all beautiful praises to the most high, higher who lives above the heavens. A higher eternal bless you. I love you all and I will see you soon, someday in glory. And yes, high is holy name. Amen and amen, amen. Let's say the benediction together. The benediction is Jude chapter 1. Jude chapter 1, verses 24 to 25. The Bible reads, Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise, Yesiah, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever. Amen and amen. Amen. Blessings. Amen.